Okay, so let's have a look at the input section. Everything to do with the front end of the desk. First thing we're going to look at is gain, which is right here. And then, of course, that preamp might need to have 48 volts, 20 dB pad, and face reverse. Let me just turn the gain down a touch to stop clipping. The next one up is the direct out. You find it here, right next to the gain. Turn it up here or down, of course. The little green light at the bottom shows me whether it's in or out. To get to the pan, I use the encoder switches on the left and the knob specific to the channel I want to work on. High pass filter. You can see the value changing in the OLED beneath the encoder and in the GUI. Finally, delay. And like all of the parameters controlled in this way, you can see the value beneath the encoder on the OLED above the name of the channel strip. Let's look at the equivalent on the SXL. Unlike the profile, all of the parameters are in one place here on the knob module. We have gain, 48 volts, pad, polarity, and delay is the last one. And as you can see, all of the values are shown in the OLED above the encoder and in the GUI. Low pass filter, high pass filter, pan, direct out, on, off, up, down. Let's look at the difference between the two decks in terms of the safe modes. In a profile, I can safe the selected channel from here. It will flash and show me that it's saved, also flash on the channel. The speed of the flash will tell me which mode I'm in, or I can go to the GUI, Options, Interaction, and change that mode. Currently, I'm in Solo Safe, which is actually a slow flash. If I change that to Bank Safe, you'll see it's a quicker flash. I can now use the Safe Encoder to add bank safe as well as solo safe to the channel. So the limitation of the profile is I can only work on one channel in one safe state at a time. Let's compare that to the SXL. With the knob module set to inputs, I have bank safe here. You can see there's a little red light on the channel strip. Solo safe gives me a yellow light and automation safe gives me a green light. So I have all three safe states displayed and controlled in one place. The main buzz assignation is here. Left, right on the left, center mono on the right. You can clearly see inside the OLEDs changing from the off to on state. Up here, I have my Pro Tools versus Stagebox input on a per channel basis. This is new for SXL. It is incredibly useful if a musician wants to work, for example, by themselves with earlier recordings. In the top right hand corner, I have a way to assign the selected channel to either the groups or the VCAs. So you can see there's a huge amount of control packed into the input page of the knob module in the SXL.